every startup starts with kind of a dream, right? You have some dream of a thing you want to build that is hopefully gonna have a positive impact on the people around you and your customers and all these different things. And it's been cool to see that dream like get built and happen. What made Carvana special at the beginning, what made it interesting at the beginning is that I really felt like we were capturing a real problem. It's hard to think about a customer experience that is more associated with stress and strain and fear and just generally kind of the stomach ache and anxiety of walking out and being afraid that you messed up. I think we were able to come at it with a unique, very customer-oriented perspective that, that gave me a lot of confidence that if we could execute it well, we'd be able to, to capture a really big opportunity. Do people really love this experience? And you could see it on the driveway and you could see the way people reacted and like their astonishment when it was, this is real, there's no catches, there is an engine inside, you know, which was something that early customers used to check. What I care about what this company looks like five, 10 years from now is how it feels. And I think in this particular moment, we're in a battle for that. Like Carvana will make it. Carvana will exist 10 years from now. I have no doubt about that. But what Carvana feels like, the types of people that work at Carvana, how people describe the culture at Carvana, is what I really, really care about. Like we got here because we got a lot of people to care about transforming the auto industry in that way. People didn't really care about cars. Like most people here aren't super passionate about a Corolla. They are really passionate about trying to change the customer experience and do something that they feel like fundamentally adds value. And I think that initial team of people, without knowing it, was a really fun group to be around and, and didn't really appreciate how valuable that would be. The sincerity and fun that kind of started with that initial group, I, I think has just kind of, uh, you know, continually impacted every new layer that we've ever added to Carvana. And I think it's made it a uniquely fun place to be. People really do love this. And I think even the bigger that we get, I think it's something we have to keep reminding ourselves because that's, we almost take it for granted now. We captured something here that's really been missing in this industry. Being a disruptor isn't easy. You kind of approach it with a lot of optimism. You're like, oh, we're gonna make this thing happen. It's going to be great, right? But like, it, it, it's just not. It, it's, it's harder than you think for sure. There's all these moments where you think you're kind of reaching a peak. I have to kind of go back down, I have to like re-get my footing and I have to do it again. And I think like, don't get overconfident. You gotta stay, you know, with your feet on the ground. You gotta keep grinding as you always do. And it's not like we lost that, but I think in the certain moments where like you'd be like, wow, this is kind of going well. You can be like, let's do other things that are kind of like taking your kind of focus away. Too often when people think about businesses, they try to think about business properties. They try to think about, you know, how are you structured? And, you know, what are you gonna achieve? What are your financials? Is that the other thing? And all that's important, but, but what's most important is what is the customer experience and what do they feel? And I think that everything has to be driven by that experience you're going for and that feeling that you're trying to make people have. That, that was like what was the core. The core was we need to give customers a great experience where they don't have a stomach ache and make the feeling at the end different. Thank you.